Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I write under the pen names Lyra Parrish and I'm one half of the USA Today best-selling duo Kennedy Fox and I came to give you all an update on actually what happened when I put in my notice at work. I don't know if I told y'all or not but three weeks prior to me putting in my resignation at the job I've had for a decade, I was not at work because I took FMLA leave to take care of myself and to basically be with my dad. So for three weeks, Weeks, I was off work and during that three-week time I was at the hospital basically every single day visiting with my dad talking to my dad's doctors and specialists and also driving 35 to 40 minutes away to go and check on my mother and go grocery shopping for her and do all this stuff for her as well instead of being at work I was basically working for my parents in a roundabout way for three weeks that's what I did and during that three week time I knew I could not do all the stuff that I was doing while I was off of work when I went back to work for three weeks I was off and during that time we had a closing cycle which for me it's the first seven to eight business days of every month which mean the first two weeks of pretty much every month I could not take off of work because I had daily deadlines that had to be met. My boss was required to do my job at the beginning of February because I was not there. I was off. He hadn't seen me for three weeks when I got back to work on Valentine's Day. It was about nine o'clock in the morning. I... <laughs> just had printed my resignation letter and signed it and turned it upside down on my desk because I was trying to build up the courage to actually go and do it. It was nerve wracking. I checked my heart rate and it was like 140. My blood pressure was completely spiked. I was nervous. I just had a lot of nervous energy because I didn't know what the reaction would be. At around nine o'clock, my boss kind of had an attitude and he was like, I need to talk to you in my office. Oh, I snatched up that resignation letter because just the tone that was given to me in that very moment, I didn't appreciate. So I snatched up the resignation letter. We went into his office and closed the door and he gave me a rundown of all the stuff that he had done for my job and all the stuff that still needed to be completed. After he was done giving me his spill, I looked at him and said, all right, well, I just wanted to let you know that I would like to officially resign from my position, effective February 28th. And his eyes were were the size of saucers. He did not expect it whatsoever. I apologize for blindsiding him and then I kind of explained what was going on, which he knows what's going on because I haven't been at work. I've been dealing with this since December 13th. He said he understood. It was a productive conversation. He did ask me how I was going to be able to afford everything. I had the pleasure of telling him that my books did very well and that my savings account was well padded so he really didn't need to worry about me and my financial situation. But other than that it, it was a good conversation and I asked him if he would allow me to work out my two weeks instead of you know walking me out the door and telling me my services were no longer needed because I have a lot of loose ends that I need to wrap up. I am the treasurer of our volunteer council and so I've got to pass off those duties and kind of train somebody to be able to keep the budget for our volunteer activities at work. I had over 800 emails that I had to check. Many of them needed replies and so that was like an all-day thing. Needed to contact corporate and it was just a lot of stuff that had to be done. After I did it, I just felt like I was living in the twilight zone. I kind of made a small announcement to the people that were in my department and let them know that I put in my two week notice and um, February 28th will be my last day. And it just, it's, it's very strange. It's weird. It hasn't completely sunk in yet because I'm still going to work. I'm, I'll be back at work on Wednesday. Monday is a holiday. It's President's Day. It'll be the day that this is posted. And then Tuesday, I took a vacation day. I was originally supposed to go to Florida on a trip, but I didn't feel comfortable leaving at this moment considering everything that's been going on in my life and so I just decided to keep that day off because it's also release day. I'll go back until Wednesday and then I'll work three days and then I've got a two two days off for the weekend and then I'll work five days and then I will officially be done. I have had some messages actually I've had tons of messages. It's everyone's response has been so amazing and incredible and, and supportive and you know I've had a lot of really nice things said to me in the last few days. I honestly I'm just a little overwhelmed because 
it doesn't feel real to me yet. And I'm sure that when I am no longer driving to the place that I've been driving to every day nearly for 10 years that it'll start to sink in and eventually this will be my daily life. It's going to take some getting used to, I know that, but my goal is to not be that author who goes full time and then all productivity stops. I've got a list of things that I want to accomplish. In 2019, I wrote down every word that I wrote for the year. I don't think I actually gave y'all an update for that, but it was close to 300,000 words, I believe. And so my goal for 2020, because I knew I would be quitting my job, was to double whatever my word count was in 2019. With a full-time job, my goal is to write 600,000 words while being a full-time author. And then every year, I want to increase that by a little bit and always beat whatever I had previously written. I think it's very easy that when you quit your job to just be like, okay, it's a vacation, but it, it's not a vacation for me. I'm still going to have tons of stuff to do as far as like my parents and we have releases that are <laughs> scheduled, pre-order is up all the way until November of this year. I'm excited to be able to get ahead with writing because that's something that I really want to be able to do. So Brooke and I aren't writing deadline to deadline and I want to get ahead with making our images for our release stuff. We have the same types of images that we share for every release and if you go to our Instagram you can see it. We have countdown images and it's just the same types of things and I know that I can make that stuff well in advance and so a lot of people have asked me questions on the things that I actually did to prepare to quit my job. And while I still have two weeks left and I still have insurance during that time and I'm still doing, like I still have all of my benefits and stuff, come March 1st, that all will change. I will officially be self-employed. I knew this day was coming and I did a lot of stuff over the last year and a half to prepare for that. And I'm going to put that in a video for all of you who are also considering quitting your job. So then if it's like two or three years out, you can start now. So then when you've got that special date in mind and it comes, you are more than prepared. There are some main points that was very important to me, which was health insurance, my retirement and 401k, and my debt. And those were three big main things that I had to make sure was in check so I could have the opportunity to quit. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because it's going to be somewhat long because there's a lot of explanation that goes into it. You know that I have a financial background. My degree is in finance and economics. Numbers are my thing and I'm very meticulous with planning. So there was a lot of specific things that had to happen before I could actually give myself permission to make the big jump. And I'm so happy to share that stuff with you all. I've been messaged on Instagram. I've had people message me on Facebook because there's a lot of people that have been in in my situation where they may want to quit, their royalties are consistent enough for them to quit, but there's all these other things that cause that background noise that stop them from actually doing it. I figured it out. I actually um, am very happy with the choices that I made. I will have health insurance. I know somebody commented on my last video that they were concerned for me about that because I do have kidney disease. I do have a pre-existing condition. I can't go without health insurance. That's just the bottom line. So um, like I said, health insurance, my 401k retirement, and my debt. And I will be sharing that all with you very, very soon. But it's official. I put my notice in. I've started telling people at work. We're going to have a luncheon or a dinner to celebrate my 10-year <laughs> anniversary which was of 2019 but I haven't done my celebration dinner yet so it's going to be like a combination of a celebration farewell dinner so that's going to be kind of sad but you know a lot of people that I work with that I like they're friends with me on Facebook and I update Facebook regularly um many of them are following me on Instagram which I update regularly and some of them are even subscribed to this channel which hey guys gonna miss you <laughs> but it it's a good thing I know deep down in my heart it was the right decision like I have not had that panic or that fear that, you know, what have I done? Have I made a mistake? Like those thoughts have not come to me because I know 100% this is the right thing to do. My boss made a comment about, oh, well, you know, if you change your mind and I'm just like, I'm not changing my mind. Like there's, there's no amount of money that I could be paid to make me stay. Maybe if I could work from home officially forever, then I would still do the job. But 
there there's no way that they are going to allow that this is gonna be goodbye for my corporate life and I am um, thrilled I'm so excited about the future and all the stuff that we're gonna be able to accomplish as Kennedy Fox and, and redoing my backlist and, and working on passion projects and being there for my dad and and helping my mom and that to me is bittersweet and I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to do this because I know there's a lot of people who don't. And all this kind of just happened at a time when I really needed to be there for my family. Like I said, it's this part of my life is is not going to be forever. You know, I hope that my dad recovers and he will eventually go home, but I know that's not going to be next week or next month. It's going to be a few months and I'm still going to live my life. I'm still going to travel because my dad said he did not want me to basically not live my life for him. And so I'm still going to travel and, and go to my signings and do the things that I have planned this year, but I'll probably be calling the hospital and getting checkups and, and making sure that everything's good. If something happens, what can I really do? He's in the hospital. Like there's not much that I can do other than go up there and be with him. And if I get a phone call and I'm somewhere, God forbid it happens and they say, hey, your dad's, you know, not doing very well. You need, you need to come up here. I will buy a plane ticket and be wherever I gotta be in a few hours because you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I'm gonna still continue to travel. I've got a trip to Florida for a few days coming up in March. I've got a trip to Las Vegas for a few days coming up in March that I wasn't gonna do. I was gonna cancel it but I'm kind of like well I mean the plane tickets are bought so I might as well go and I have a camping trip in April I've got a signing in Boston in April I've got a signing in Chicago in May and uh, I'm not doing anything over the summer but staying inside trying to not melt in Texas because it's hot AF and then my camping trips in September and October and that's all I have planned this year and I'm super excited I know the summer is gonna be fun it's gonna be like summer vacation I to write and and do the things that I need to do and sleep late and be a night owl and drink stupid amounts of coffee and bug my husband and like do all kinds of fun things like that so I'm really looking forward to it and I'm so happy to be able to bring you along with me so I didn't expect to make another video until after I was done with my job but I forgot that I had Monday and Tuesday off honestly I have time to record and I will be editing this video and posting it on Monday which is President's Day and I will up update you all when I can let you know how it's going I'll probably do a last day at work vlog just to have the memories for myself and I know that when I drive away that I'm looking forward and leaving all of that in the rearview mirror and it's gonna be great I am super excited I, I, I literally cannot wait. The next two weeks are gonna be weird. They're gonna be real strange and it's already been strange, but I know that it's just gonna get weirder as the days tick on. <laughs> because, oh my gosh, I'm still in shock. Honestly, it, it doesn't feel like my life at all. And I've got like 300 comments on Facebook and I had like 50 replies on my Instagram story and I was just like, oh my gosh. Like I've told everybody it's real life now. So it really happened. Although I don't feel like it's real life, it is real life and it will eventually set in. Thank you so much for all the kind words that many of you left in my last video and I appreciate you I, I really do. I'm, I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that you're a part of this little community that I have on YouTube and that I get to share this stuff with you all and, and maybe help you, you know, if, if you're contemplating quitting your job too. I think the next video I make about that will, will be helpful and, and kind of show you what preparation I did. I am set for success and I know that I will be in a better position writing full-time for retirement and health and all of that than I was working a full-time corporate job. Why would anybody not do it at that point? Anyway, I hope you have an amazing, incredible week. You accomplish all your goals and you write all the words and I will see you again in my next video. Bye guys.